All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to check out this Sabrina Carpenter. What we got? Slim Pickens. Let's hop straight into it. Guess I'll end this life alone. Whoa. I am not dramatic. These are just the thoughts that pass right through me. All the douchebags in my phone. Play them like a slot machine If they're winning, I'm just losing A boy who's jacked and kind Can I mean, would it, I mean, it'd be like that sometimes Because basically she's just reflecting on the loneliness, the loneliness she feels You know, resigning herself to basically ending up alone So it's like, despite the self-awareness I guess she acknowledges that she, Like, that these are just the thoughts that she just can't seem to avoid, if that makes sense. And then her frustration extends to the men in her phone who she kind of she kind of compares to like a, what, a, a slot machine. So it's like if they're winning or succeeding and their attempts to engage with her, it only seems to result in her own loss, if that makes sense. Or her own disappointment, if that makes sense. And find his has to save my life or it's slim picking. If I can't have the one I love, I guess it's you that I'll be kissing Just to get my fixings Since the good ones are deceased or taken I'll just keep on moaning and bitching <laughs> Jesus, what's a girl to do? This boy doesn't even know the difference between they're there and they are Yet he's Damn. naked in my room Missing all the things he's missing God knows that he isn't living large A boy who's nice Damn, I wonder if that's like a sexual reference when she said God knows that he isn't living large Like we could, you, could, you could look at that as living large like luxury or like, you know, living large like what I was saying was basically living large as in having a big one down there, basically. I, I'm probably reaching. Disregard that. I'm probably reaching. Am I? I'm reaching. I'm reaching. But basically, you know, it, I mean, I mean, you we see that she's frustrated, you know, with her partner who is not only lacking in basic knowledge, such as grammar, but also seems to be inadequate in other aspects of life. So despite his apparent shortcomings, he's in her space which feels deeply ironic and disappointing, I should say. So I think she kind of highlights the disparity between his superficiality presence and his lack of substance or achievement, emphasizing that he's missing all the things he's missing and not truly thriving. So she basically limited, she has limited choices available to her dating life, her dating world. So it's like she should choose to be with someone who might not ideally be her go-to or her, her choice of men just to fulfill her need for companionship or affection. And when she mentions the good ones are the good ones being deceased or taken, it kind of underscores her frustration with a lack of suitable partners, basically. So it's like, as a result of that, you know, she anticipates continuing to complain and express dissatisfaction in her romantic situation, basically. So, yeah. is wasted and since the lord forgot my gay awakening then i'll just be here in the kitchen serving up some morning and bitching 
All right, that was Sabrina um, Slim Pickens. Let me know what you guys think about this song, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace, we out, we go.